Yo, it's the L7C bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! duel. Let's just hop into the fray. We are waiting for an opponent to challenge us. We're doing the rock, paper, scissors right now. We lost the last. So we're going to be seeing what we're playing against. It's going to be... It's always very interesting seeing what decks people use online because they're sometimes different from what they use in real life. And this screen is taking really, really long to start up. Wondering what's up with that. Finally got the screen going. So now we we got two effect failures, a sage, a navigation, and eternal soul. So it's 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 not too too special we're going up against a carl tenjo so we're going to be seeing what mr tenjo can do here summon does dark magical circle so we are going against a dark magician deck so we're going to see how he plays his version of the deck gets the souls gets the soul servant so that not too good on him and we're just waiting to see what else he's going to be doing. Because now with the, uh, Dark Magical Circle, he has a banish, a potential banish, whenever he gets things. He set a card, so we obviously think it's Navigation or Eternal Soul. Just like a typical thing you would set in a Dark Magician deck. So that's what we're thinking he is doing right now. So we're still waiting for the opponent we're waiting for him to end his turn so we can get things going unless he's thinking up of some crazy some crazy plays right now oh we're still waiting still waiting for him still waiting 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 and we are going to see what he is going to be doing today like man this guy is making us wait but while we're waiting to do our turn make sure you check out the l7c uh, make sure you subscribe i mean we're posting Yu-Gi-Oh videos we do a whole bunch of our l7c podcasts where we do plenty of topics sports anime pop culture anything you could think of we talk about it now he finally activates the faithful servant so now we're going into that and we're seeing what he's gonna stack at the top of his deck but while we're waiting for that but yeah make sure you subscribe make sure you listen to l7c podcast on youtube anchor spotify apple apple google we're all over follow us on instagram l7c twitter l7c and facebook l7c You'll see all the content we post on those things. Just, you know, mom and pop shop. Trying to do some things. Trying to just show the world our group's entertainment. Now he's going into Apprentice Illusion Magician. So now he'll add a Dark Magician to his hand. It's active. If we want to activate effect, we actually do yes. We actually affect Valor this. Because if we're guessing what his two face downs are... They're probably Eternal Soul Navigation, and that would put us at a huge disadvantage for right now. So we just had to affect Baylor that just to hold ourselves back, hold ourselves in a bit. So we're still waiting for this guy, and his timer is going low. He has 94, 90, 90 and counting. And now we're just chilling, waiting for this guy. He's been taking his sweet, his sweet old time. So we're waiting to see, we're just waiting so we can actually draw and see what we're going to do on our turn because obviously we haven't had a turn yet and this guy's still taking his sweet time. He's in the, oh, now he finally ends. So now it's our turn. We draw, we draw Omni Dragon Brotart, which isn't, isn't bad. If we could have got a rod, we would maybe use the two traps in our hand, but we'll, we'll be okay. So we summon Omni Dragon Brotar, we do Hage of Eyes of Blues effect, target him, tag him out, get a Blue Eyes White Dragon to the field, and then we set the Eternal Soul, we go into battle phase, we attack, and we end turn. 
And that's really all we have right now. So if he does banish us, we're in a very bad predicament. So, but we're going to have to see what we can do. He has one card in hand, two sets. Again, we're all Dark Magicians. If it's a basic Dark Magician deck, it's always Navigation or Eternal Soul. Now, if you're playing some Spice, that's when you really catch people. But we don't know if this guy is playing any Spice or not. So now we're waiting, waiting, waiting. We're waiting to see what he does. And we are waiting. And this guy's really kept us waiting a lot in this game. This is when I wish Nexus had a talk feature. Just if you could just say something. Obviously, you could type in there um, and say something. But if you could just say it with your voice, sometimes people are looking at their screen. But if you hear a voice saying, hey, are you going to go with your turn? But he activates navigation. It's asking if I want to activate anything. And I'm like, no. So obviously, since he activated navigation, he has the Dark Magician in hand. He'll get the Dark Magical Circle and banish Blue Eyes. And I'll probably summon another monster in attack mode. So I'm trying to think if I'm going to survive this turn. That's what I'm trying to figure out from Mr. Tenjo. So we're waiting. So obviously he can act. Is he, act he does something real strange there. He activates another navigation. So he had two navigations. So we were right on that notion. And we're trying to see what he is doing. Because you can't double up on the navigation thing. Not that I've ever seen before because it would make no sense. So, so now we're just waiting to see what he is doing now. And now we're in the waiting game. Because we're just waiting for him to put the Dark Magician down, but we're just sitting here like, hey man, what's what's up? What's up? Still waiting on him to get it going. So we're waiting, waiting, waiting. But... While we're waiting, I mean, it's, it's always good to be back playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! on the Nexus. Uh, we haven't had any videos up in a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because we've been real deep in the L7C podcast. Getting those podcasts out on all platforms. Anchor, um, Spotify, YouTube, everything you can think of. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find the L7C podcast. So we kind of neglected Yu-Gi-Oh! for a bit. We definitely still been playing. That's the thing too. It's just we haven't hit the record button in playing. And then the guy uh, down there saying Esperado, then dot dot dot, and I don't know what to say to him because I don't know what Desperado meant. So I was just waiting for him to reply. Now he's at the thirty-five second mark, and he's ticking down. If he doesn't play his thing and then he's saying por fin mi deja hace algo so he's obviously speaking spanish but now he's at 22 seconds 20 seconds 19 18 17 16 and he's just going down and down and down and he finally summons dark magician but with nine seconds left and down to five Four, three, two, one. He loses. He messed up in activating those two navigations. His time went up. Man, if you don't know what you're doing with Dark Magicians, just, just put the deck down because that the two navigation thing did not work out for him.